Eight-Legged Nightmare, True Story by Reuben White The day started like any other, the sun casting its gentle rays upon the peaceful neighborhood, creating a sense of tranquility. I had just returned from the grocery store, bags filled with the essentials of daily life. Little did I know, the seemingly ordinary day would soon take a terrifying turn. As I entered my cozy apartment, the plan was simple, unload the groceries, neatly organize everything in its rightful place, and perhaps indulge in a well-deserved afternoon nap. However, fate had other ideas in store for me, something that would challenge my perception of fear and disgust. I began my routine by placing the canned goods in the kitchen cabinet, my mind drifting to thoughts of dinner preparations. But as I bent down to reach the lower shelf, a monstrous presence in the corner of the room caught my eye. My heart skipped a beat, and a chill raced down my spine as my gaze fixed upon it. It was no ordinary spider, it was a tarantula. The creature was a grotesque sight to behold, its body large and furry, its eyes, sinister and predatory. It was as though a nightmarish nightmare had come to life in the heart of my kitchen. Panic surged through my veins, and I instinctively recoiled, letting out a scream that could rival a horror movie's scream queen. Without a second thought, I grabbed the nearest objects I could find, canned goods, a loaf of bread, and even a bag of lettuce, and hurled them at the abominable arachnid. The kitchen was transformed into a battlefield of groceries, a chaotic scene of vegetables and canned beans crashing against the wall. But no matter how hard I tried, the tarantula remained unscathed, a silent, sinister spectator to my futile attempts. The fear that coursed through me was indescribable, a relentless force that rendered me incapable of rational thought. The adrenaline rush propelled me to make a swift decision, to flee. I left the kitchen in a frantic dash, leaving behind the remnants of my grocery conquest, sparing only the kitchen sink in my impromptu arsenal. I sprinted through the hallway, my heart pounding like a drum, until I reached the leasing office. Bursting through the door, I must have looked like a crazed lunatic, breathless and disheveled, as I blurted out the tale of my terrifying encounter. The leasing agent's eyes widened, their initial surprise quickly transforming into incredulity. It could have been somebody's pet, they suggested, their tone attempting to soothe my hysteria. My voice trembled as I retorted, it wasn't going to be my pet. I need it out of there, and I need another place to stay. Reluctantly, they agreed to relocate me to a different unit, assuring me that they would address the uninvited guest promptly. As I left the leasing office, a strange mix of relief and lingering terror washed over me. My encounter with the tarantula had triggered emotions I never knew existed within me. Days turned into nights as I settled into my new apartment, the memory of the tarantula encounter still haunting my thoughts. I couldn't help but wonder how something as innocuous as a spider could become the source of such dread. It was then that I realized my fear was not solely rooted in the physical attributes of the creature, but in the irrationality of fear itself. The tarantula had been an embodiment of my deepest anxieties, its hairy body and menacing eyes serving as metaphors for the irrational fears that often creep into our lives. In facing this eight-legged nightmare, I had confronted not just a spider, but the shadows of my own imagination, the monsters that lurk in the corners of our minds. Months passed, and life in my new apartment returned to a semblance of normalcy. The tarantula, once a grotesque specter in my kitchen, had become a distant memory, a symbol of a fear conquered. I learned that sometimes, the things that terrify us the most are not the external threats we encounter, but the internal battles we must wage against our own irrational fears. Moral Ending In the end, my encounter with the tarantula taught me a valuable lesson about the power of perception and the importance of facing our fears head-on. Sometimes, the things that terrify us are not as formidable as they seem, and by confronting them, we can discover a newfound sense of courage within ourselves. It's easy to let fear control our actions, to allow it to dictate the course of our lives. But true strength lies in challenging our fears, in questioning the validity of our anxieties, and in realizing that often, the monsters we fear are nothing more than illusions created by our own minds. So, the next time you encounter a tarantula in your kitchen, 
or any other fear that threatens to paralyze you, remember that you have the power to overcome it. Embrace the challenge, confront the fear, and you may find that what once seemed terrifying can ultimately become a source of empowerment and growth.